you you said it earlier. When you used to go to the doctor, they'd say get plenty of rest. So drink water, and yeah. take some vitamin C. So it's almost like this show is rehearsed. Yet again, <laughs> you brought up an excellent topic. <laughs> so let me share with you one thing that I've learned in business, and this goes for whatever side you vote for, because we are pretty. 50 50 now in America. Yeah. But let me share with something that every single American should always ask themselves when they're thinking about a subject or what's going on in the world or anything. This is one thing I do for myself, and I would encourage everyone to do this, and it's free. This is a life lesson of my own. I didn't learn this from anybody else, I got it from myself. Follow the money. Follow the money. In any situation, if there's a, I'm serious. Yeah. I have to, no, I'm just laughing because that's why I be following you around all the time. No, just Follow laughing. the money. In any situation, especially when you're dealing with the government. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave out a lot of comments that I feel personally, and I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't want it to turn into a political thing. He's just saying. What I'm teaching is. And the thing that it don't matter if you're rich or poor, extremely wealthy or whatever, if you see something going on in your life with a friend in the news, 99.9% of the time, there's a reason for it going on. Yeah. And it most, I, I would say, all I just about say 100% of the time, it's rare you're going to find a situation that you can't follow the money. Right. So if somebody's, because sometimes I wonder, why'd that guy, why'd that guy run for this office that pays $20,000 a year or $50,000 a year? That, that's nothing. I mean, he's a very qualified guy. Why would he do that? Okay. Follow the money. What's he doing during his tenure that he wants to get out of that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pandemic. Do you know how rich... Oh, These drug companies man. have gotten. Somebody yeah. is getting. Let rich. me open up that box. Yeah. Do you know? Okay. These these tests that they're mailing out for free. Nothing's free. Nothing no. is free. No. We paid for that. Right. If you're working right now and you're paying taxes, yeah. You paid for these tests well, that they're mailing like, out. It's just like exactly right. two tests yeah. for every citizen in America. It's just like gets two tests. The stimulus checks and all. We that paid people. for that, right? Yeah. That I mean, we paid for that. Right. Some drug company made them. All right. Let me open up this box. And I don't know who owns these stocks. I don't know what side of the aisle they sit on. Don't really care. I should care. It's, you know, because this is what's wrong with everything. But in this context, context, we don't care. Guess what? Follow the money back. See if they own some stock in that God, company. Somebody <laughs> is making some bank right now. I mean, Crazy. that's what goes on. And yeah. I'm telling you, is that is that right though? Answer that. Is that is that morally right? Ethical. Ethical. I mean, it's yeah. e is it, so. The question is, is it ethical to own a boatload of stock in a company that you're about to award an, a, a big contract to the American people, and then the profits of this company that you own part of is going to go way up? And then your stock goes up, so you make more money. Yeah. On something. I on, think anybody in America can look yeah. at that and make their own determination. Right. No, if you're making, that's whether, why I'm asking. Yeah. Whether yeah. it's ethical or not ethical. Well, if, yeah. you're, if you're making bank on something like a pandemic, you could call that not ethical. No, and most definitely. 100%. And yeah. fear-mongering. Fear-mongering, yeah. yeah. Because, okay. Because think, think about the word pandemic. What's in the root? Pandemonium. It's fear. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you think about this. Abby and I have talked about this quite a bit. Before, when you were sick, three years ago, you didn't really pay much attention to it. No. Nope. But now, guess what? You're driving down the road, and you're like, hey, feel my forehead. Yeah. I, yeah. My throat feels a little scratchy. Yeah. And the... And the, and I mean, the yeah, I mean, yeah. I, oh, it's, I think it's I'm not, sick. It, well, it used to it was a cold, maybe. Yeah. Now and, and it's I believe yeah. I don't feel good. Yeah, you know? I believe yeah. so strongly. Comment on this too, because a lot of people are going to disagree with this. Because I've got several doctors in the family, and and they're going to disagree with this. 
What's a momo? What's a momo? I don't know. You well, know what? It's, it's kinda, you know what? Comment. It's cool if you do. I, I, Co- I, I, comment either way because because I believe what I believe. Because yeah. what? It goes back to my freedom. Yeah. Because you know what? The government can't take away. Government cannot take away my mind yeah. and what I believe. Oh, most definitely. They can make me wear a seatbelt. Yeah. Or I had to pay a hundred dollars. This is like Paul. It's just like Paul preaching about freedom when he's incarcerated. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's you can't take my nah. mind. You know what? I used to have a boss, and and uh, he man, he owed a lot of money, and he used to tell me all the time. He used to say, "Man, they can't take my birthday." Hey, if you like this video right here, this little snippet, then click on this link right here and watch a little bit longer video. Thank you for tuning in. I feel the same way when people ask, you know, please like, please subscribe, please click the bell, whatever. But it does mean a lot. <laughs> Click that bell.